So I'm pretty excited about today's news. Yep, I've sort of been waiting for this for a while and it's finally here. Well, sort of. If you've been around the channel at all, you may be familiar with this little shop straight out of Utah called Vanderhall. What's up, motorheads, and welcome back to Gearbox Pizza. Today, we're taking a look at the new three-wheeled all-electric bully on the playground. The Vanderhall Santa Rosa, the successor to the already awesome Edison is here, and it's looking like it was worth the wait. Vanderhall started off by making these sort of awesome gas-powered three-wheeled things, which were yeah, they're sort of a hit. Then they started dipping their toes into the world of electric propulsion and some pretty great things happened. I mean, first we got the Edison, which was well, more or less like a proof of concept with a limited run that sold out pretty quickly. And personally, I sort of loved it. It was based on the already awesome gas powered Venice and gone was the General Motors four banger and bam, a 29 kilowatt hour battery and a pair of 52 kilowatt motors took over propulsion duties. Speed and range were both plenty good for something like this. Range-wise, Vanderhall claimed a range of 200 miles, but you were most likely going to be much closer to 150 miles, if that. Still plenty good if you ask me. And speed-wise, yep, just all kinds of fun with a sub 4 second sprint to 60. Next up was the all-new and first four-wheeler for Vanderhall, the Brawley. Now, don't have to say too much here. I mean, this thing is just kind of amazing. It's all electric, and yeah, I mean, good luck finding something more fun for an off-road afternoon with the fellows. Now, I'm not gonna go into too many specifics as I've already gone into lots of details in a Brawly video, so by all means, check it out when you're done here. So that brings us to the main act, the new kid, the awesome all-new Santa Rosa. So there's not a whole bunch of info out there, but we're gonna get into everything we can. And right off the bat, there's gonna be three trims available. There's the base Santa Rosa, then there's the GT, and then the top of the line GTS. Now let's start off with the entry level Santa Rosa. And first thing here you'll notice is the windshield is, well, much shorter than the GT or GTS. Yeah, look, it's only four and a quarter inches high, which is pretty tiny compared to the GT and GTS, which have an eight and three quarter inch windshield. So you're gonna have to wear a helmet or goggles or something, otherwise that wind's just gonna destroy your retinas. Now color wise, we're looking at three pretty cool options with your choice between this bright neon green, they're calling atomic green, and then there's Bosco blue, and finally obsidian black for those of you who, well, sort of prefer not to kind of glow in the dark. Now, I wouldn't worry all that much about the paint colors, is keep in mind that with something this small, getting a custom wrap job in whatever color you might be into, it's gonna be kind of a fraction of the cost when you compare it to a full-size car or especially SUV. And I guess what I'm trying to say is I wouldn't choose a trim based on paint color alone. Anyhow, Vanderhall is claiming a range of 150 miles, and this will be your only battery option with this spec. In fact, if you want more range, you're gonna have to step up to the GTS, but more on that later. 19 inch black wheels appear to be standard and your only option, which is fine with me. It also appears as if, well, the black leather is your only interior option here. Again, no problems here. Although some people might shy away from black interiors when it comes to convertibles. I mean, something to keep in mind, just watch out for your thighs if this fellow's been parked out in the sun for a while. All right, so the motor. So not confirmed, but I'd assume we're following the same basic layout as the Edison with a couple of motors up front powering the front wheels. And I can't imagine a real, real drive version of this thing as you're probably fighting for traction all day long. Anyhow, we're making a pretty solid 180 horsepower with 216 pound-feet of torque. Good numbers here, and I suspect this fella is gonna hit 60 in under four seconds. All right, so let's take a look at the features. Now, both seats will be heated, sort of a must-have with a convertible, and then there's this Bluetooth switch, and not exactly sure how that works, and there's headlights, obviously, then there's heating and AC, along with the defroster. Then there's this other switch. It's up for hazard lights and down for, well, I mean, what is this exactly? It sort of looks like a disco ball sort of thing, and I just really can't come up with much of an explanation here. I mean, anybody know? Yeah, be a bro and drop a comment because I'm a little lost on this one. Okay, so moving on to the GT. So here we've got two color options. There's Ida Red along with Ivory White. Now, we're looking at a much larger windshield here, and there also appears to be a roof option, which would lead me to believe that there's not gonna be a roof option for the entry-level Santa Rosa, so. Yeah, you want a roof? You're starting here. So other than the paint options, this 
kind of appears to be very similar to the base version. I mean, there's the same glossy black 19 inch wheels. There's the black leather interior, which also looks to be the same as long as doing it with the engine and battery. So it's simple, really. You want a roof? Well, here you go. And that leaves us with the top dog, the GTS. And right away, you can see there's way more color options here. Now let's take a quick look. There's a different shade of red called Rosa. And then there's that same black option from the base version called Obsidian Black. And then there's Royal Blue. Then that same Ivory White. There's Jean Grey, which is probably the one I would get. And I suspect this will easily be the most popular color. I mean, just look at it. With that tan interior, yeah, it just looks great. And lastly, there's Emerald Green. All right, moving on, we've also got 19 inch wheels here, but they're not of the black variety. Most likely a semi-polished aluminum. Yeah, I like them, but I sort of wish black was also an option here. The interior is new with this sort of awesome looking tan with diamond stitching just about everywhere. Yep, digging this big time and it would also be a good bit cooler in the summer. Okay, and then there's the battery. And this is probably why you're stepping up to the top trim GTS. While the other versions top out at 150 miles of range, here we're doubling up on the batteries for a claimed 300 miles of range. Now, I'm really not sure if you need that extra range in something like this. I mean, the downside is, well, not only is it gonna be more expensive, but you're also loading up a good amount more weight with those extra batteries. And I suspect most people are gonna pull the trigger for this, even though most don't really need it. I mean, I get it. The whole range anxiety thing is real. I get it. Power-wise, we're still looking at the same 180 horsepower and 216 pound-feet of torque, which again, should be more than fine for something this small. So pre-orders are now open and you can reserve yours for just 100 bucks, which is cool. So I know we've all, well, not all, but a lot of us have been sort of eagerly awaiting the successor to the Edison. And here we are. Look, all right, pricing wise, there's no real info available yet, but the Edison came in at about 35 grand and I suspect pricing to be sort of similar. The top trim GTS with the extended batteries is easily gonna be a bit more expensive, but I really hope they keep the pricing in check here. All right, bottom line here is that the new Santa Rosa will most likely be the king of three wheel performance EVs. Yeah, I know there's the Aptera, but that sort of serves an entirely different purpose. And right now, we don't really have any small convertible sports car style EVs. So for now, this is probably your best option out there. I can't wait to get behind the wheel to see just how good this thing is.